welcome back to Ingenuity. Today we have the dubious pleasure of replacing that broken uh, wheel stud over here. Uh, I did find the exhaust leak is coming from the muffler casing. Uh, it's got a, got a nice break in it. Um, <clears throat> I've got to get this thing in alignment. We're going to head over to uh, my buddy shop. I'm going to see if I can stuff these tires in here and, and hopefully everything fits. <laughs> and get, uh, get over there, get those mounted balance, get that alignment done, get this thing on the road. We have a couple little maintenance things to tackle after that, but other than that, she's ready for daily duty. So, without further ado, let's get started. So now, I'm trying to jam these tires in here and hopefully they fit. Two hours later. All right, so we got the wheels and tires mounted. That was pretty easy. I'm gonna bang out these spark plugs and get this thing ready for the road. All right, let's do this. So one of the things I just wanted to cover real quick, um, when you do get the new plug, um, what you want to do is you want to gap them. Um, and the way that you do it, you can use a gapper tool. There's a bunch of different styles. This is just the one that I have. You just slide her on there, and then you slide it to its specification. On this this particular vehicle, um, if you look, there's a uh, on the there's an emissions label on your car it'll tell you what the spark plug gap should be um, you always want to make sure you set that um, to the spec in this case it's 52 to 56 thousandths um, so that's where we're going to make sure we gap these two and the, the spark plug gap play, plays an important part in the running of the vehicle because the larger the gap um, the stronger the spark has to be to reach the electrode now if it's too big you can overstretch your coil um, if it's too small, the spark's not going to be big enough to light your combustion um, efficiently. Um, it'll probably still run, but not efficiently. Conversely, I have seen these where people have dropped them and smashed the electrode completely down, and so this doesn't generate a spark at all, and you will get a misfire at that point. So, just tips, little, little tips on uh, some spark plugs. So, we're going to get back at it uh, now that we got one out. And uh, oh yeah, and one more thing: um, when you put the new spark plugs in. Little dab of oil on the threads, anti seize, whatever you, whatever your preference is. Uh, just something you definitely want to lubricate the threads uh, on these and make coming out and going in a lot easier. So we're gonna get going and uh, bang this, see how fast we can bang this out. Let's do this. thing to note when putting these back together <clears throat> so the coil for whatever reason goes in the order of one two three four six five um, see <laughs> when I was in the shop a lot of guys screw that up and get a nice little wop 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 and get a start to the truck so anyway all right let's see if we did it right It 
does it for tonight. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, welcome back. So, one of the things that I wanted to tackle uh, before we get this guy outside is the uh, battery tray situation. Uh, it's currently held in place with this wonderful bungee cord. And uh, I was looking at replacement battery trays, and they're the hover between $40 and $50, and a little more based on, sh you know, if you add in shipping. So, yeah, not about that. So, we've got some off air, we've got some nuts, we've got some sheet metal. Why not see if we can just make our own? So, yeah. Let's go do that. It is a goofy shape. <laughs> it is a very goofy shape. Okay, so I've been mulling this over and kind of coming up with some different designs and at the end of the day, I think, again, budget, build, themed kind of thing, a elaborate battery box would be kind of cool, but again, at the end of the day, um, just to keep things simple and clean, um, rather than reinvent a tray, for this thing, I think I'm just gonna fix this one. But, probably not in the way that you're thinking. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out these sections in the middle here and put this bar in like this. That's gonna make up our, our basically our, our mounting plate on the bottom. Then run 3 8 rod through that bar um, it's actually going to go through the bar and through the bottom um, of here um, to, to further secure it. This side, I'm going to cut this side down um, to clean it up and then get everything cleaned up, get this nice and, and brand new looking again, um, get the metal in. Um, again, with that, the L channel is going to attach to like a T like that um, then this L channel is then going to form uh, this what used to be this outside piece the tray is going to be mounted to the truck the battery is going to be mounted to this but this is going to sandwich the battery and the tray which is going to hold it all together so yeah that's the plan I don't know if it's a great plan but it's the plan Let's do this. 